Hey everybody, my name is Briska and I want to show you Final Cut X uh, handling time-lapse sequences because when I first opened Final Cut X and attempted to put some sequences together I had some issues and I didn't know what to do so hopefully what I've discovered will help you uh, move forward with your time-lapse sequences in Final Cut X. Now here in Final Cut X I have uh, a number of sequences that I did uh, while taking a photograph or a time-lapse sequence of my car just running along the side of the car and what I noticed when I first brought them in was the default duration for still images is 10 seconds now for anyone who's done time-lapse photography 10 seconds per sequence or per image is a little bit too long okay it's a lot too long but some um, so what I did was I tried to figure out where it was in the preferences uh, to change that and I did change that to what I preferred uh, which was 0 0.02 seconds so uh, that's normally what I prefer um, I've changed that in the preferences but no matter what I do every time I import sequences images it remains at 10 seconds so what I had to do was find out how to change that in on the timeline so what I'm going to show you here is I'm just going to grab a handful of these uh, image sequences I'm going to drag them onto the timeline down here and that'll ask me to change the settings for the the output which I will and as you can see they've been brought in at 10 second intervals which is not so good so basically I'll just deselect them all and I'll start from scratch so if you bring in hundreds of sequences you can do this all in one go it's quite easy so what you gotta do is command A and once you have selected them all control D which basically al allows you to set the duration here so as soon as you hit control D hit the, the duration amount that you want so I want 0.02 of a second and I'll hit the number 2 there so and that's changed that to 0 0.02 and then just hit enter and boom sequences are now 0 0.02 of a second in length and if I roll them along you can see it's not too bad so there you go how to change the sequence or the still image duration on Final Cut X timeline I hope that helps you thanks for watching